All right, so I have, uh, you know, some of my most popular videos are about what's happening over the next five, 10, 20 years or so on. So today I wanted to talk about things that I personally expect over the next five years. Uh, <clears throat> I, I'm often, people often challenge me and say, hey Dave, do you, uh, you still believe AGI this year, 2024? And uh, yeah, between GPT-5, which rumors have it that it's coming this summer um, or November at the latest, um, given the size of the of GPT-5, what it's expected to be, and also Sam Altman already said that he expects GPT-5 to destroy up to 100 million jobs globally. Now, obviously that's not a quote, you know, like median human capability because then if it were, then it would be 4 billion jobs globally or however many jobs there are. Um, but still, 100 million, that's uh, nothing to shake a stick at. And so there's that. There's NVIDIA's foundation agent models, which if you look at the modalities that, are, that, are, that NVIDIA is baking into their foundation agent models, it's basically every modality that they can, including embodiment, uh, embodiment, math, spatial, pretty much everything that they can. And uh, then the third thing is robotics. You probably have seen all the various humanoid robots that are coming out, including the ones that are very much in the uncanny valley. So yeah, AGI this year. Now what I will say is that um, just in the same way that ChatGPT kind of created a huge splash and then, you know, everyone's kind of not really impressed by it. Uh, the, the next, you know, Gartner hype cycle will be more or less the same where the initial excitement will be, you know, very profound, so on and so forth. And then, you know, the newness scent will wear off. Now, what I will say though, is that, um, when the job loss starts, that's when people are going to really sit up and take notice. So that's this year, 2025, uh, Based on the polls, most of you in the audience think that 2025 is kind of a more realistic year when we're going to start seeing like true AGI. But then, of course, a lot of you also point out that what's the difference between AGI and ASI? And also, when you ask people what their definition of AGI is, it is basically it's better than all humans at everything, which to me, that's super intelligent. So anyways... 2025, this is when we're going to see the commercial takeoff of AGI. Now, it's still going to be limited in some respects. It might be too expensive. It might be too slow. Um, integration is going to be the biggest thing. So corporate deployment, commercial deployment, integration, that's all going to be 2025. Uh, 2026, seems like Ray Kurzweil and others are saying like, yeah, uh, digital super intelligence, you know, 2026, that's when that's coming. And so then that's also when I expect we're going to see um, shortly after GPT-5 and, and this mass deployment of humanoid robots and these foundation agent models. Once all that happens, then you're going to start to see unemployment creep up. If I'm right, no, again, I, <laughs> I will, all, I will for, forever and always be the first to admit that i um, my understanding of economics is incomplete, but at the same time, I'm not the only guy saying this. Everyone from Ray Dalio to uh, Peter Diamandis to Ray Kurzweil, a lot of people who have been doing this much longer than I have are all more or less saying the same thing, which is that uh, robotics, AI, and automation is gonna fundamentally reshape um, our economic landscape and our relationship to jobs and work. Now, does that mean that all jobs are going away? Not necessarily, uh, you know, but that's kind of a tired debate. We don't need to, we don't need to perse perseverate on that today. Whew, arm's getting tired, switch hands. So, so then what's next? Well, if 2026 is when we start really seeing the jobs market changing, then 2027, which is uh, also about when Project Stargate is expected to be kind of uh, taking off, which if you're not in the know, Project Stargate is a $100 billion 
AI data center or series of data centers that Microsoft is planning on building out in the desert. Oh, and by the way, they're not the only ones that are throwing around numbers like $100 billion for AI infrastructure. So 2027, 2028, that is when we're gonna see the scale. I suspect that we'll have AGI and ASI long before then, but then it's a matter of capacity. And so we're gonna need energy capacity, probably in the form of lots and lots of solar, probably some more nuclear reactors. There's been a more recent push, kind of a sea change, you know, like a, I smell it in the air, a sea change where people are talking about nuclear again. Now, is that a, uh, is that a propaganda campaign or is it just a messaging campaign? I don't know, but more and more people are talking about nuclear, solar, fusion is still a ways off, um, but even Microsoft and Sam Altman are hoping for first light of nuclear fusion by 2029 or earlier in some cases. So energy and chips are gonna be the primary constraints. Data is also gonna be a huge constraint because not all data is created equal. Um, just read Reddit, just read Twitter. Um, just because you have gobs and gobs of data does not mean that it's useful. And so we're gonna to have to have entirely new theories about how to characterize the value of data, quantity and quality. Um, synthetic data, obviously that's becoming a thing. But so 2027, 2028, that is kind of when I predict the entire world is going to be like, yes, we are in the thick of the fourth industrial revolution. Because as many of you point out, we're still early. Um, those of us that are commenting in this space, those of us that are working in this space, we, we're still a little bit ahead of the curve uh, compared to most people. So that's one thing. But really 2028, when Project Stargate comes online and all the uh, similar competitors, it's basically gonna be, that's, <laughs> it's difficult to really forecast because not only are we gonna see many incremental improvements between then and now, we're gonna see lots of um, confounding variables or remixes of technologies. So I suspect we're heading for another iPhone moment. This is kind of what I'm trying to say. So the iPhone moment was the combination of several technologies, miniaturization, uh, mobile data, touch screens, better batteries, that sort of thing. So the combination of foundation models, uh, cognitive architectures, humanoid robots, I think we're really heading for another iPhone moment. And um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't put my money on any single uh, any single uh, company yet, but top contenders, definitely Boston Dynamics, uh, definitely OpenAI with everyone that they're working for, or working with rather, um, and NVIDIA. Um, those are the ones that I would really, really pay attention to. Now there's gonna be different specializations. There's gonna be domestic home robots, there's gonna be commercial and industrial robots, there's gonna be search and rescue robots, there's also gonna be military robots. And so I think that that market segment is going to very quickly differentiate. Uh, basically, you're gonna have, you know, the Boston Dynamics heavy industries where they're building Tachkomas and smart tanks like in Ghost in the Shell, which by the way, we're right on time. I think Ghost in the Shell takes place in 2029. So <laughs> right on time for all that. Um, very prescient set of predictions. But yeah, so that's more or less kind of what I expect over the next five years. Um, as I've been reading and thinking and talking to people and just trying to, trying to calculate out the trends. And we do also have some very specific dates, namely part Project Stargate. Um, and we can, we can predict some of the data, some of the trends based on current performances. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, am I off base? Are you excited? Are you worried? As time goes by, I'm less and less worried. Uh, is it gonna be rocky at some point? Yes. Um, are we gonna have another Cold War? Almost certainly. Is it gonna escalate to a hot war? I sure hope not. Um, is it possible? Yeah, I mean, anything's possible. Um, as many of you point out in the comments, there's a lot of disinformation out there. There's a lot of debt. There's a lot of smoke and mirrors. Anyways, I'm rambling now. Uh, have a good one. Thanks for